Hi, and welcome to Outlaw Bookseller with me, Steve Lee Andrews, writer, bookseller, collector. And as so often happens when we do an out and about, I'm at Bath Railway Station. And today I'm going to Kemble in Gloucestershire to meet my old friend Ben Staveley Taylor, formerly of the Kerasina Small Press Collective in the 1980s. And I'm going to collect from him some Keith Roberts manuscripts and original artwork. And as usual in the UK, it's raining like mad. Well, luckily the camera is waterproof because it's tipping down here in Kemble, Gloucestershire. Never been here before. This was kind of halfway between me and Ben, so we decided to meet here. And the pub isn't open for another 10 minutes, so I guess I could take refuge in the railway station where I've just come from. But I just thought I'd show you some of the local colour of the wonders of Gloucestershire, England. Great, isn't it? One hopes, of course, that if everyone is trapped outside a pub and in what resembles a yurt, that they will open early. I've only got about 10 minutes to wait, but I must admit it's pretty wet today. So why Kemble? Why not? So yeah, so when when um, when 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 you came from from eighty six to eighty nine ninety perhaps, um, he he kept coming up with sort of various things he'd find in his cupboard. Yeah, and I was never quite clear whether they were new things he'd written or old things, old ones he'd yeah. lying around. But like, what is this post rest So this one, this one, you're going to gonna have to going to have to go and Google that one. And yeah. Find out what collection it appeared in? I some I some may be in collections. Things. Some may yeah. not, some. Maybe unpublished. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but you can see it's clearly a. Um, oh, Rashenda Stewart was a character of his. Uh, Stewart. I mean. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, I don't immediately recognise so, it at all um, as a title. Yeah. But it's a while since I've read yeah. some of the collection. And typically, he would give the group us, which would be in practice me and Mike, Mike Moyer or yeah. Jim Goddard, yeah. the the original, wow. and then probably we'd photocopy it yeah. half a dozen times. And take one each because so Mike the, the, the can, binding is my my binding point. Yes, yeah, because Mike um, did Sirius, didn't he? And he did Katie on tour. Yeah, that's I, right. Yeah, I never met Mike. And this. So speaking of Katie one, on tour, let's skip, yeah. let's skip to that. So okay. a couple a couple of these are um, that one in particular. Yeah, is in Katie on tour. Yes, yeah, think. Katie twelve. Yeah. And, and again, yeah. Keith, that that cover illustration, Keith would Keith gave Mike the. Original, yeah, and do that illustration for him. Wow. So the lettering is all Keith's as well, right? Um, because he was, you know, he was yeah, because he was a printer, graphic, 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 um, yeah, because there was that artist, yeah. wonderful experience yeah. you had with <laughs> the flyer, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, and that the one tiger was, sweat, I that remember that really is, well because um, that's the that's the, the story that Jim yeah. Burns illustrated for the cover, isn't it? I of, think so, yeah, yeah. of Katie on tour. So, um, yeah, do you know what? Funny enough, a few years ago, I was in work and a lady came up to me and I was in the SF section and she asked me about Keith Roberts and because Pavan's the only thing that stays in print and she looked vaguely familiar and I said oh yeah I know Keith Roberts' work she said what can you tell me about it and she told me 
that she was the model for Jim Burns for the cover <laughs> of the Tiger Sweater Paint for the cover of Kato Tua. And I said, I recognize you from it. I said, I can see it's you. So that was amazing. Yeah, this is a good story, this as well. Wow. Yeah. So I don't think there's a sign, not too much of that one signed either. Yeah. Okay. Um, so a couple of But like nonetheless, that. I can anyway, pour over these at length. The illustration is wow. interesting. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah. And and is this the manuscript? This is a manuscript from Molly Zero. It's actually a sign. Uh, oh so, my god. Um, that's, um, I refuse to write Molly Xerox on principle. Wow. Mm. This is one of my favourite books, Bucky. It's a good one, actually. I yeah, I it. think it's brilliant. I mean, the, the whole yeah. thing about yeah. him doing, was the Kipling reference from Walton Ferries, the whole thing about him doing it in second person, present tense, all the way through, mm. which is tough in a short story for a novel. And the thing I really love this is like this this is possibly actually my favorite book by the but there's so many to reread i haven't reread for the time is that very last line I don't know that. Yeah. Which, I which you know she is obviously in the selection process but that's incredible yeah. wow yeah. man so I, I think it's one that he would have sent publishers i mean it's yeah clearly his, clearly his package to try yeah, and catch someone yeah, yeah. he's done the because of course books. that was that was Golanx in mm. about 1980, yeah. but there wasn't a paperback until 85 was the Penguin paperback. Yeah, I remember yeah, that one. I remember yeah. That one. yeah. Um, a long, long time. Yeah. Now, Diva is in something that's in, I think that's in Ladies from Hell, maybe. I can't recall. Probably. I yeah. Can't, sorry, I can't remember. I think I think that would have been one that probably Keith Xeroxed because yeah. just because of anything yeah it like, looks it, it doesn't look like a typescript does it it in, looks in, anything I see yeah boxed. there you can see yeah. where it's yeah. he's put a correction there yeah. but it's not an actual pen so that is Xeroxed yeah yeah, so, yeah. But, um, wow. yeah but, I um, think and there's another correction there yeah, um, yeah. but I think that's in Lady St. Hal. Yeah. But again, Ladies from Hell is one of the books which never ever had a mass market paperback. Um, do you remember, it must have been about 15, 20 years ago, Cosmos Wildside got the rights to them? No. And they did, and Cosmos Wildside are effectively a reprint publisher, and I think they're American, and they did a load of print on demand paperbacks, and they did laminated boards, hardcovers. So the, and of course you can find them in the bookshops, I mean, I stuck them and I could. Um, they did some Barrington Baileys, which never ever got published either. Um, a book called The Great Hydration, and a book called The Sinners of Erspia. Um, Mrs. Sibber, of course, is in, um, that's in the one that Les did, isn't it? It's in Winterwood and Other Stories. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's a good one from what yeah. I recall. So wow. This is one we were still speaking, clearly. <laughs> yeah. Um, some gorillas can come back and haunt you. I've forgotten what that was a yeah. reference to, but anyway. Yeah, I think one. that's a pen on girls, maybe. Yeah. I think Miss, Mrs. Sibber is either... I know this story is set in a pub in London, down by the Thames, and I think she was a real person. I'll have to reread it to find out, because I don't know if you remember, one of the one of the really good stories which is in which is in that collection that lasted in Woodward, is the Scarlet Lady, which was an impulse way back in the sixties. Scarlet Lady's about forty pages long, and it's the one which is about a red car, and you see this red car going through different owners, and it's like a dry run for Christine by Stephen King. Hmm. And the one theory is people have picked up on it that it's that somehow King must have read it, and you know did a cover version for Christine. Hmm. And when you read it, I mean, I, re I read it after I read Christine. And while I was reading it, I thought, this is about a red car that kills people. This is where Christine comes from. And of course, you know, he, he was reading it, SF, then. Tremor. No, I forgot about that got published in the end. Um, yeah. The Xerox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. So, yeah, so that, um, yeah. Oh, that's the Romsey Group, yeah. yeah. Mike, Debbie, Jim, just Jim Goddard, Jim, yeah. Les Escort. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's a member we can't. He obviously really, you were sort of really touched by this person, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, no, for a couple of years. Yeah. Um, yeah. He seemed really friendly and happy. And yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. But it, it's, if when you look through his, his history, all the anecdotes, it's just, he would go through that thing where it would fall apart with everybody, wouldn't it? You know? Because you could just do oh, this is an interesting one. Or oh, the event. This, this is the one that Les did, it's a chat book. 
um, in Morica. And this is the story, isn't it, about, I think Jim Goddard challenged um, Keith to write the story in which nothing happened, <laughs> or which there were no human characters. <laughs> is that the story? This is about, uh, this is the one about the um, shed falls down in the garden. Oh no, is it a shed falling or the garden wall falls down? <laughs> Either the shed, he's just describing a back garden. Um, either the, the garden wall or the shed falls down. It's really good. Yeah, but I've completely forgotten it. So yeah, got a good memory. Yeah, That's but memory. it stuck in my head because yeah. I probably reread it because I got the chat book. Wow. Right. Oh, but so on the tight world. So that, this is now this is my actually uh, God. one that he would have sent out to publishers. Yeah, actually, I think a yeah. real a real typescript. Yeah. With some um, yeah, pasted pasted in corrections. Yeah, oh God, you, look you, at that. You, you can feel the. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's really old school, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, wow. so and Kite Master was that was that that's the first of the Kite World stories, I think, isn't it? So was that in, I think it, was that in Interzone. It was, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was in a very. Yeah. It was might have been the first. It was a very early issue of Interzone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must have been the first one. Yeah. Wow, so it was a great book, um, Kite World. I haven't read Kite World for years and years and years. Oh, it was a great, it was a great book. Yeah. In fact, the first one I've ever read. Yeah, it's, it's a I, fantastic I book. Yeah. It, really. I mean, obviously, there's the similarity to that, but it's a great book yeah. for yeah. stock. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah, the pencil correction. So that's. An original sort of copy there, not yeah. the zero. Yeah. yeah, we were like seven thousand. Mm -hmm. What a pro he was! Yeah. Oh, and here's a big one. And this is um, the reading copy of Grania. Right. Wow. So um, yeah, there's so the dedication. So that would have gone round to the for Sky Woman in completion of the van. Um, that, that would have gone round to publishers and been and been round round be turned down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Nineteen seventy. Yeah. Ma mailed out. Mailed because back of course Grania. Now Grania was published in 87 wasn't it and it won the bsfa yeah yeah and i remember going to the world con in brighton were you there yes yeah but we didn't know each other then did we a few years we knew each other um i remember buying grania there from the kerosene stand um and i think I might probably bought my copy of, um, of the first Katie book there as well. Um, and maybe Shades of Darkness as well, because you only had three books out there. Mm -hmm. And it won the BSFA, didn't it? But there were more votes than actual sales. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it was like Kerosene and Good Guys. Keith is a good guy, yeah, even if we haven't bought the book. It's a very unusual book, isn't it? I really need to reread it because it's a, a strange book. Yeah. But wow, that's yeah. incredible. Amazing. Wow, man. Wow, I have to mm. pour over these. They're quite yeah. lovely. That is. <laughs> yeah. okay. So that is so. Jim Goddard, <laughs> actor okay. of uh, Serapis books. <laughs> yeah, that's when Jim. Uh, was that when Jim and Les were doing a thing together? They were, was it, was it George? Yeah, Jim, yeah, Jim and Les were Serapis yeah. together. Mexicon, yeah. Birmingham, 1986. Um, okay, and you can just see on the in the in the cover there. Yeah, um, uh, Kate, Katie's coming. Oh that, yeah, yeah, that, the flyer. That, that, that is a flyer. That, that, that got the flyer. The teaser flyer. Wow. Before, that was before publication. Close. And this is somebody with John Brenner. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, John Who, Brenner was amazing. Who is that? She, she, she's one of, one of the Carosini's. Okay. Car Caroline, Caroline Mullen. Um, John yeah. Brenner. Uh, the Carosina launch party at Albacon 1986. That, that, yeah. that was the Glasgow Easter Con. Uh, that was where we. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. of course, with Brenner, it was days of March, wasn't it? Yeah. And day. yeah, and you obviously knew him. I met him once, um, and there was that shocking thing, wasn't it? Where I think it was the Glasgow Royal Con in '93, where he died at the con. He, I think he died in his sleep. He went to bed on the first night and he was dead. So oh. that sort of put a whole thing on the con. Sure, that's KW Jeter. Um, and that's, that's De Debbie Moyer, who was my yeah. Wife. yeah, so that's KW Jeter, who of course, there was never a Kerosene Jeter, but of course there were the Morrigan ones that Lair's dead. Um, the man who coined the term steampunk. Yeah, did you know him? Uh, yeah, I met him in Bath actually. Yeah, because he lived, didn't he? Lived he lived in Bath, yeah. Yeah, he lived in Bath. Yeah, I remember we met at the Huntsman pub. Yeah, um, wow. Uh, near the Abbey. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Nice kerosene t shirt Debbie's got on yeah. there. Very, I'm very, yeah. very sort of feeling. That's our launch, that's our launch wow. promo, promo materials. And um, gotcha. again, this was, at, this was at the Glasgow um, yeah. uh, Eastercon. 
So we had a kind of um, yeah, uh, yeah. Presentation, presentation there. Yeah. Up, yeah. That's nice and old school, isn't it? That takes yeah, you back. Yeah. And I'll look at this. Yeah. Katie's here. Wow. With the actual lot. Can you see it? And that, yeah, um, this uh, card. Yeah, card Keith, thing. Keith, Keith, yeah. Keith, Keith, Keith himself made that. Yeah. So Keith painted Because I recognise that picture. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So cool. Yeah. Look at that carpet. Keith, Keith, Keith did the program. Girl, where's our time machine there? <laughs> and a kerosene cake More as cake. well. <laughs> yeah, with a big cake. And this picture yeah. I've seen before. Yeah, these are um, our, our group outing to Corf Castle with Keith. Yeah, because this is the picture that you used when you did that article for yeah. our fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Great picture, that. Mm. Absolutely great picture of Keith having a fag there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah, of course, in my video, which you, you've obviously seen recently, I went to Corfe um, because of, and I'd never been there before. It's an amazing place, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Because of the associations with Pavan and the Chalk Giants, which mm. is a stunning book. And there's, and there's a picture of Corfe. And there's uh, Keith again. And this is at the Sir Abbas Giant. Or is it Sir Abbas Kern, I just say it? Kern, I think. Kern, I say Kern, Kern and I, Kern. I think I'm correct, but I'm not certain. And obviously, mm -hmm. I went there in the video as well. And, and that there's is the, is the, 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 the gang. From the group. So yeah. the guy with the orange hair is, is Mike, Mike Meyer. Right. And that's Jim there. Okay, fantastic. Um, Brilliant. Got the Keith in the middle. Wow. So, what. Um, Keith did for mm. us um, the frontispiece, the frontispiece of Grime, um, yeah. and, uh, and, wow. and they had the printed up on proper light I'm going to put that there because I might use um, that picture. And, and they were obviously on. signed. Um, isn't that so, beautiful? Um, yeah, I always loved that picture. Yeah, so Great, isn't it? It's Grime, it's grime yeah. Okay, 425. Mm. Interesting. So, uh, so they were, were, so were there a number of these? That suggests there are a number of these. Well, there were 25 because when we did oh, these bands, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. 25 le leather bands. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the so leather bands. They, they basically went with leather bands. Right. So um, they, weren't, they weren't strictly distributed no. as such with no. them, but the numbering, I, I, I had number four. Right. Uh, and so we, yeah. we, we, we all got our own number. And there's so that's the, that's from Katie and Cavity, the Fox Tower Girl, yeah. A piece of, um, God, beautiful. As well. So they're, not in, they're not in great condition, you can see they've been, they've probably got a bit down there. Yeah. yeah, they could but be remounted, yeah, but you know. Um, wow, that's incredible. But, um, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah lovely writing. It's very, I do love it's, Keith's it's lovely his hand, it's beautiful, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, it, it's that thing where he, he is the sort of, he was the sort of craftsperson who virtually doesn't exist anymore because the media and, and the way things are produced or reproduced yeah. has changed, doesn't it? So, wow, that's amazing. Incredible. 